You look at this chair, normal chair, and we look at our faith in Jesus, and we, we settle, right? We have faith. We have complete faith. We've put our faith in Jesus that he will save us and that we will have eternal life and we will not face eternity in hell and not be separated from God. And we're okay with saving faith. But then we settle, oh yeah, for safe faith. Right? Did any of you, when you came in today, sit before you sat in the chair, did you look at the chair? Did you go over it, you know? Unless you're like a psychopath and, you know, I don't think anybody was over here, you know, checking, you know, all the screws to make sure it's still glued in. I'm gonna call the 800 number on the back to make sure, you know, there's still a company. And, you know, but, you know, it's got nice back support. No, we just went like this, right? We trusted the chair completely. Trusted it to be safe to sit in. Didn't think anything about it. These chairs are older than some of the people in the room. They're 20 years old. Nobody sat down and they were like, oh my gosh. Okay, no, we sat down and it felt safe. And this is what we end up doing in our walk with Jesus. See, God says, go. God says, I'm calling you in to do something and I want you to do something. And even though we trust this chair and we trust the maker of this chair, we don't trust the maker of our lives and our souls and our eternity. And just like we all laughed about how if we would never check the screws and make sure the glue is all good and there's still bars on the bottom or whatever so that we won't fall out when God tells us to do something, we're like, well, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not quite ready for that yet. I need, I need to know how long it's going to take. I need to know what it's going to look like. How much money is it going to take? Who's going to leave my life? Who's going to hurt me? Because I thought they were going to be here forever, but God didn't want them in my life in the first place, and I'm the one that put them there. And God says, do something, and we're like, oh, whoa, nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. We trust the maker of the chair, but we don't trust the maker of our lives. And just like none of us would sit here and, and see what to do with the chair before we sat down, when it comes to God, we get stuck weighing all the costs that we never move into the call. And we, we look at all the risks of faith over the rewards of faith. And there is a risk. There is a risk. But is it, is it really a risk? God's got me. But I don't know where this is going to end up. I don't know how this is going to look in a few years. And we consider things a risk because we are relying on the wrong person. We're relying on ourselves, And that is the real risk, not relying on your Redeemer. When you rely on yourself, that is the risk. Because is following God truly a risk? Think about it.